Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a sewn nature canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. Uh, so in our uh, bags this month, we have your 8x8 eight eight canvas. Uh, they are wrapped in plastic. You will have a small card with some green embroidery floss on it and a tapestry needle tucked in. These are a little blunted, so um, you should be fine. You shouldn't be too worried about um, being poked or anything like that. And then we did end up providing a few faux flowers um, so one of the thistles and then one or the other of these two little kind of purpley lilac. Um, additionally, this month's canvas project has a bit of an extra step. Um, so we are going to ask you to go out into nature and find something else to add to your nature canvas. Um, with the storms over the last few months, uh, there are a lot of limbs that have come down, and I did just find a few kind of just dried sticks uh, that were on a limb that had fallen here at the library. Um, and then I'm looking for something that can kind of lay flat, but then I also looked for something that had a little bit of visual interest. Now I can see that this tail end here is kind of sticking up, so since these are dry enough, I'm just going to break the end off. So now it's a little bit shorter of a Y, but it lays flatter. Um, this end sticks up, but I like that for the top of my canvas. So I am going to leave it as is. Um, this one also sticks up a little, but I kind of like how that is. So I may only pull off one, but I'm not sure just yet. So our first step when we're ready, we've got our um, extra bits from nature our faux flowers if we want them, our needle and thread set aside, um, a couple of things that you might also want but this project can totally be completed without. Um, if you've got a pencil handy and you're the type of person who likes to kind of sketch out where you're going to sew your material onto the canvas, you can do that. Um, if you are even more of a perfectionist, you might decide to get a ruler so that each of your pieces are um, separated by the exact amount. Uh, looking at my example here, so I've got some sewn parts that are just uh, thread. I've got pieces where my um, pieces and flowers have been sewn in. And really depending on how you do this, like this little guy down here is really just tucked in. Uh, so something like this could be, so I tucked one little flower under there, this little guy here it can come right out. Um, so I could interchange this as the seasons went on. Um, I could just make a four panel maybe with um, some pieces that I picked up over the different seasons and display them all at once. So there's the example. Now let's get started on our canvas project. So first you wanna go ahead and remove the plastic from your canvas. These are eight by eight squares seemed like a fun size. Uh, you could, honestly, if you were so inclined, paint the canvas. If you wanted a look a little different, I liked kind of the clean white of the canvas. Uh, there is one other thing that you'll need, um, or honestly could be done without. When you start pulling your thread off, uh, another choice will be whether you want to leave the full six strands of embroidery floss or whether you want to pull it down to a smaller uh, embroidery, like maybe three strands so that you get a lighter. If you've got embroidery floss, uh, different colors could be really cool. You could do even a rainbow, so each of the different colors. Um, and then something as simple as leave the flowers out and your only other is your nature, the, the sticks. Other than that, you're going to want to kind of decide how you want your flowers and such to lay on. 
the canvas. Um, I like this little guy's a little long. Um, if I had some shears, I might snip this down a little bit and make it something shorter. But I could also come through here. Uh, yeah. So I've got my thread. I've got my needle. Just using a little bit of moisture, I'm going to kind of flatten the end of my thread here so that I can thread my needle. There we go. Um, if you've sewn before, you probably have a few different ways that you like to thread a needle. Um, for this project, really, uh, a fairly good sized tail to start with at the end of your needle should be fine if you decide you can trim down your thread if you've got scissors um, but you can also just continuously stitch this so i am going to take a look at here on the canvas now this is kind of a lot i don't really leave myself much room if i wanted to do some just stitches maybe I come in and get a little bit of a cross here maybe I set that one aside for now and just go something in here yeah I think I like that turn this around no oh, I like the floor the little weird leaves and actually I'm not even sure I like those little weird leaves so I'm gonna pull off the little grass pieces I've got just my little thistle These are wired, so if you want to bend them, you could totally do that. I'm just going to take the tail of my thistle and kind of wrap it around the stem of this guy. Oh, yeah. So I am going to stitch on either side of this guy. here here the pencil might be without lead and there so I've got my needle I've got my thread I'll set these two little guys away I'm gonna want to start from the underside of the canvas um, I have two options I could go ahead and not the opposite end now going to pull through very simple knot and again get a, get a, two little knots as close together as possible so that when I go ahead and stitch up through my canvas about where I want this guy to be just pull my thread all the way out you'll see there my knot and I'm not going to pull too hard so that I make sure it comes through and then I'm just going to come straight across and I'm going to pull my thread straight down in these early stitches I'm going to have a lot of extra thread so I want to make sure I'm not getting a knot I'm going to pull fairly slowly and if I need to pause as I pull the thread through I can that way I make sure I'm not getting any knots in my thread. There's my first stitch. I'm going to come up right about the same spot. And as I start to push through on the canvas, I can see where the needle is. So I know that I'm coming close to the distance I want. I thought this looked so cool as just a simple straight across lines very reminiscent of different things you see in nature just continuing to stitch there so about three is what i did on my example it's about enough to hold down that piece of the flower and stick that I wanted and then now I want to do up here so I've got holding the base and really that is is held wonderfully 
and I could just leave it like that, but I do want to come up here and give myself some other lines. And you can see I'm not cutting. I'm just going to bring my thread straight up. I believe we've given you enough embroidery floss that you should be able to do this without cutting and tying knots at each piece. Oh, I've got a bit of a tangle there. So I'm going to take the time to loosen that some before I continue to pull my thread through. That way I don't get any knots that I don't want. There's one. This one I'm going to kind of go at an angle, almost like a little... Uh, sunburst maybe pulling through slowly making sure I don't have any knots I'm gonna come up this way on this one so not exactly one two three like before oh see gotta be careful I got caught down there two I'm gonna bring this one right around here pull through turn over and check as I pull my thread through and I think I want this one right about there pull through and there and I can just kind of pull on my thread to tighten those stitches if I want to now I've got one stitched on um, I do want to do a couple of stitches just the stitch itself and I'm going to do that right here in the center so I'm just going to come right up. This way, if I decide later I find something as I'm going on a walk or I'm visiting the park or Lake Pflugerville that I want to add to this canvas, this is something that can really be, you know, you maybe never completed with it. You keep bringing things and changing them out um, as it displays for you. And I got pretty close on with my lengths and my distance, just eyeballing there for those three. Um, but again, if you've got a ruler and a pencil, you can really mark that out so you know you've got it exactly on where you want it. Um, and then, see, here we've got, so say this was something I found and I just wanted to bring that in. I've got my other stick here, and maybe I do bring the grass back in at some point. Got these little guys that pop off. Maybe I want to go ahead and add this to an actual stick. Let's see, can I get this one to pop off? It's a great thing with faux flowers. You can just kind of manhandle them a little bit. Pull off the pieces. Think about artistically how we can add to the other. So, I want this to be on a little farther, but it's not made for it. So I want to, don't want to push too far or hard so that my, oh yeah, <laughs> it looks like it's got two little uh, buns there. All right. So with this one, it doesn't want to lay very flat. I could leave it like that, or I'm going to go ahead and remove this piece. Ah, yes. And then I will get it to lay much flatter there. And maybe I even want to make it a little shorter. Oh, I don't know. I like the little side by side. Maybe we lay this guy on top. Yes. All right. So my thread is still attached. I'm going to come up here this time. Cross, down, and just continuing on until I've got all the way through. Oh. Luckily, these canvas, even though they're um, treated and prepped, they're not too hard to stitch through. Let's see, I think I want to go a couple of extra stitches on this one. So we'll give a, maybe a five across. Yeah, that'll be perfect. And then once you've stitched as much as you want to stitch, if you've got any thread left over, so we're just going to turn over here. 
I'm going to use my fingers to make a little loop. I'm actually just going to bring my needle all the way through and pull that knot to the end. And honestly, that's probably enough of a knot. You could leave that. Um, if you want, you can also do it again. Get yourself a little bit more beefy of a knot so that it definitely doesn't pull through. And then um, you'll, you will need scissors to cut this off or just kind of put it to the back. So there is my sewn nature canvas ready to hang or set near a window or just something really cool. We really hope you enjoyed this craft canvas project and that you complete it. If you complete it and post it, please tag us. We'd love to see your creations and we look forward to the next canvas project. Thanks for watching.